This game, if you're looking for a game, it's $40, right? So you're trying to maybe judge, do I want to pay 40 bucks for it? Let's say you played Rainbow Six Vegas 1 or Vegas 2, or maybe you enjoyed Rainbow Six Siege and you really enjoyed playing the terrorist hunt on there or terrorist hunt in Vegas 1 and 2, and you want an experience where you can kind of run that with your friends right now because they don't have PvP available, then highly recommend this game for you. If you are looking for like, you know, that classic Ghost Recon, the, the older Ghost Recon games before Wildlands and Breakpoint came out, that more classic feel, like like Graw and Graw 2 or even before that the older ones like talking original Ghost Recons and Rainbow Six games or if you play the Delta Force games dude I I grew up playing all those games I grew up playing Operation Flashpoint uh, which were precursors to Arma this game is great the weapons feel amazing for an early access game the movement feels great the my biggest qualm right now is AI okay so AI uh, is definitely the biggest problem where it's AI will sometimes see you through walls. The AI will sometimes can't find where they are because maybe they aren't making noise. Uh, so I get that for a case if somebody's like, you know, actively hiding and they're trying to stay away from you like a, a suspect or a threat. Go direct forward. I got your right. Raj. Okay. Clear. Present Drop your weapon. Get off. But if you have somebody like uh, someone who's scared, I would like to hear them kind of whimpering or making noises. That way it would l alert you a little bit more into those specific areas and let you know like, hey, there's somebody in this room uh, or somebody that may be yelling and you hear like some roughing up. And I know this game just came out. So this is stuff that I'm just trying to uh, like, I guess I would like to see personally down the line. Now, as far as what the game looks like right now, game graphics are beautiful. It runs very well. AI still are... the fastest shooters in the west like literally they will go from here like in their hip up as the fastest i've ever seen in my life from an ai so i'd like to see that get tweaked a little bit that way it gives you a little more time for a reaction and something that's a little more realistic from somebody that not every single person you're going to uh, is law enforcement military or somebody who practices on the range so much that they get their timing down that quick so a lot of the ai are like that right now and i would like to see them tweak that as well but this game will be having pvp so if you go and click on a, a place you can see it says normal hard hard very hard insane so i don't know if that actually goes and does that but that's just something to kind of keep in mind as well but the maps you got one two three four five six seven eight two of them are test maps right now so you don't have a whole lot of information to go off of with these because they are untextured maps they have you know the the checkered walls up on uh, the walls and on the different things that you see in the map like tables chairs things like that but the game definitely runs extremely well for an early access game and i'm thoroughly thoroughly impressed if you grew up playing the swat games ghost recon games rainbow six games like i'm talking the og ones and you're looking for a game that you can play some co-op with your friends and get some good quality time with that is actually a challenging game highly recommend this game for you first i've been playing this game for three hours straight and i haven't gotten bored of it at all i've been loving my time playing this game take a look here if you're trying to get into a match boom play single player public lobby friends only if you launch single player it's just going to be you and you have blue team red team as ai that will be joining you in the fight if you go into public lobby it'll put you into a lobby and other people can join you friends only only your steam friends will be able to join off of you find session if you want to join boom you join the game good to go right you are able to customize the way that everybody looks right so uh if i want to my weapons first so you've got your assault rifles you've got attack 700 which is a pepper ball gun uh, sa58 762 m4 556 of course you got a 300 blackout sbr sr16 and then the hk some machine guns you got an mp5 ump and an mpx and then you've got a beanbag shotgun m4 super 90 and an x870 cqb so you've got some great weapons of choice here and then take a look at the sidearms you got the glock 19 45 357 the m9 a taser 57 and then a usp so pretty cool stuff and then your tacticals mirror gun which allows you to see underneath doors you've got the breaching shotgun which allows you to obviously breach those doors ballistic shield if you want to give some type of stuff i don't know what the rescue shield is it's currently grayed out for me so i haven't really messed around with trying to see what that is yet 
And then for gear, you can either do no armor, light armor, heavy armor. Heavy armor is going to slow you down a little bit. Light armor is just going to let you give a little bit more maneuverability. Uh, if you are running a little bit lower teams, I suggest using heavy armor because I've been finding it's been pretty tough to get around. And then as you can see, you can run a lot of different things. NVGs, Seaburn if you're running some uh, CS gas grenades, anti-flash goggles, and then ballistic face mask. For grenades, you've got a multiple options, flashbang, CS gas, stinger grenades. Stinger grenades disperse those rubber balls and they stun the enemy. I haven't really tried those, so I'm going to try them right now, but the flashbang works pretty good. And then for tactical devices, you got C2, which are explosives that go on the door. Door wedge, which will allow you to obviously block a door. And then pepper spray. I've been running the pepper spray as a non-lethal. That's all cool and stuff. Oh my gosh. Bro, you scared the shit out of me. <laughs> What's cool is you can change your the way that your guy looks. They've got a bunch of different guys. You got Judge, King, Swan, Prescott, Eli, and Alabama. It's pretty cool stuff. I like the, the masked up guys. They look pretty cool. And they all have different voices and voice lines and stuff. And then different uniforms that they would probably eventually come out with, which is absolutely awesome. Customize your guns, right? How did I get all these attachments on them? Well, you have the opportunity to customize them down here. Over there is going to be where you select all your guns, the quartermaster. Uh, here you can customize your guns. And I, it's kind of weird. You want to make sure that you're angled down a little bit when you look down at the table. That way you can see what things are going to look like. So you've got the different optics here. Of course, all your classics, they're pretty much all a one times optic. And you got a muzzle brake, two of them, and then you have a SOCOM suppressor. I've been rocking the suppressor. Combat grip, control grip, speed grip. Haven't messed around with these too much, so I don't know the breakdown of how each of them kind of control differently. But we'll try the control grip and see how that goes. And then you can either put a PEC-15, different laser pointers. This one's going to be IR only. This one's going to show up while you are using it. And then the flashlight. The sidearms, you can do the exact same thing on here. So... Be sure to mess around with those, get comfortable with it, check it out, see what it's all about. Oh yeah, one thing they do have is they have a CQB test room that you can run through. So if you come through here, right where Forgive is, you're able to run through here. The shooting feels great. Everything in this game, the movement, the ways the guns react. Controlling it a little bit. There is friendly fire. Yeah, and you get minus points if you get friendly fire as well. I'll go get some. This is where, yeah, this is the guy you can practice your non-lethals on. Oh my gosh, that's what happens when you get hit with a friggin' flashbang. You can drop down way. some glow sticks or some chem lights. That way you can see specifically which rooms and you can kind of coordinate, hey, where are we in this room? Because this game can get like a maze and you can drop those things. You press Charlie is in C in the game. And there you go. That's what pepper spray looks like. Oh, it hurts so much. Ow! <laughs> ah! <laughs> f*** you! Wait, what? Wait, what the f*** I have goggles on? You shouldn't be able to spray me. Let's go ahead and get into the gameplay. Or what are our missions here? Okay, it goes through basically an F through an A, I think. Maybe you get an S. That sounded really bad. But uh, <laughs> uh, basically you get rated on your F experience. F through the A. Yeah, F through the A. Yay. Now you get rated, you get rated based off of your experience. So you're gonna see he's got this mirror thing that's gonna allow him to see underneath the door and check it out. There's a guy with a gun and a Tagillo helmet. Really? Yes, dead ass. As no. soon as you open this door. As okay. soon as you open this door. Do you have C2? Yep. Let's fucking blast it. Three, two, one, reaching. Wow. I wasn't lying. Contact down. No, not at all. It's just nuts yeah. to see. Um, Police, guy at the end, I can't up. tell if he's got, he's got a gun. Hands up. He's down. Okay. Another guy, I heard another guy. Push it. Yeah. Two of them, two of them down the hallway on the left. If you press R, it's just going to attack, reload, take it out, put it back into your system in case, uh, you know, you have some ammo left into that magazine. But then if you want to speed reload to you double tap R, you're going to drop your mag uh, on the ground and then you'll have a fresh mag in a lot faster. So some of these are, you get minus points if you just shwack them without a threat. Uh, the ROE, rules of engagement, are different for each scenario. And that's what's important to remember when you're playing this game because you can't just go in, guns blazing, just destroy anybody. Nice. 
guys. Wacky Wavy Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man. Wacky Waving Inflatable Arm Flailing Tube Man. Hi, I'm Al Harrington, president and- Yeah, they do. Whoa, oh, dude! Huh. Press T. Oh, that's That's fucking awesome! Or was he I'm shooting hostages? All right, I'm with you. He's not shooting. I'm just dead. Holding. How? I don't know! Fucking one tap! This is protocol. Yeah. This is protocol. This is what we Get do every time. Get your hands right. off me! Cuffed and oh my for god, attack. get your hands off Talk me, you moment. creep! Hear that, Tyler? We're creeps. What? Oh, hell yeah. If you right, he already breach. knows we're here. I'm going breach your shotgun. Yep. I think he had the door rigged with the. Uh... Yeah. yeah. Uh, there was a lot of explosions that happened when I went in that room. If they have a gun, you gotta shoot them. Drop the weapon now. Fuck off. You. Drop your weapons. <laughs> oh, he got pissed. Hey, check. Uh, if you want to check left, I'm checking. I'm out. I'm out. I'm out. PVP will be coming down the road. Drop it now. B, 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 B. <laughs> B, Tyler. <laughs> Definitely shouldn't have shot her because she tried to run away, but uh, uh you just she was like blocked the door, dude. Face. Yeah. You know what? We're saying fuck it. Hear him. Oh. Put your hands up. Drop, Drop the weapon, weapon now. Go fuck hands up now. Drop your knees. Come in. Closing door behind. Ow! Ow! Who shot me? He fucking. We're, let's restart this. Did you shoot me? I did not shoot you. It was a guy that came out of the door from behind us. He shot you. Oh, God. I shot that guy so many times with pepper. Oh, yeah. Dude, you, his ass was literally covered in pepper balls. Like, I, yeah, he's covered in pepper balls. Alright, this guy's getting fucking. Yeah. Hit. Oh, I'm gonna restrain real quick. I know this is not. Oh, f are you dead, Tyler? <laughs> All right. <laughs> pepper balls fucking useless. The pepper spell sucks. It sucks. There's no point in using it. You literally lit that guy up with like an entire hopper full of freaking pepper balls. It did nothing. Nice. He definitely maybe was going to give up, but uh, he was walking towards me with the shotgun and I was like, I don't want to risk it. Dude, we just called him DOA. Uh, fucking no. <laughs> <laughs> just fucking shwack and we're just like, yeah, he was dead on arrival. I don't, I don't know what to tell you. What was all that shooting? Yeah, don't worry about it. You hear that? They're here. Whoa, okay. <laughs> wow. Wow. Fucking <laughs> Man. Man. <laughs> Jump scare, bang! I got scared! <laughs> right when I heard the bang. Yeah, I didn't. I don't want to talk about it. Bing! Drop your weapon and get your. Dude, you barely have any time! Yep, I'm here. There was a bomb attached to the door. Yep. Officer down. <laughs> drop your weapon. Put the gun down. Hold on. Drop Hold on. Yeah, try to get him to drop it. Down. Give OC. Now. <laughs> Fuck. This is comical. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. Just shoot him. <laughs> oh. This guy's dead. Oh my gosh, look at the door. If it's something that you're into, you know, thanks for checking the stream out. Hope I was able to help you out a little bit uh, and making a decision if you are looking at this game and you're kind of like, ah, what is this game about? I see people talking about it. If you wouldn't mind, you know, smash that follow button. I got a YouTube channel and then I also have a Discord if you want to join the Discord and get some like-minded individuals that are going to be playing this game. Join that Discord. We'd love to have you. If that's something you're into, awesome. If not, hey, no worries. I just appreciate you being here and checking out the stream. It really means a lot. I got the shooters.